In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the system that I use and love to manage all of the papers in our house. Hi, I'm Linda of Windable.com. I help creative planners like you find functional and productive ways to use your planners to help you get more things done. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my binder file management system. So the binders I use are from Avery. I got these on Amazon. It was a four pack for about $15 only. Um, the other binders that I use are uh, Staples Better binders. Um, I really like the Staples Better binders because they open and close with just one touch and it's really easy and um, as soon as I can, I'm definitely gonna be upgrading all of my binders to those because when we have a lot of paperwork coming in, opening and closing, um, ring, the rings on these wouldn't be as great as using the Staples Better binders. So um, they are a little bit more pricey, but I think they're worth it if you are always filing things. So let me just show you guys what's inside of these binders. All right, guys, um, for my filing system, I use binders. Um, I used to use a regular filing system, you know, with the with the tabs and everything, but I found that a lot of my paperwork would get lost and just kind of crumpled up and um, it just got so full and messy. So I really like my new system. It's a lot more set up and um, it takes a bit more time to file it away, but when I need something, it's so easy to find. So I use um, these four binders. So we have home and auto, medical, career, um, that's like career and education, and then we have finances, finance and taxes. So I'm not gonna show you guys what's inside completely, but I can show you guys what I use for the dividers. So these are from Avery. This goes along with the home management binder, so um, these are just more like receipts and uh, the titles and loan and um, our inventory and such. So these are the sections I have for auto, repairs and service, titles and loans, insurance, other. And then for home, we have repairs and service, household inventory, insurance, uh, projects, and mortgage and rental agreements, and then decorating and utilities. And then for medical, so these are kind of like our our records, um, our immunization records, um, kind of like our after visit summaries. Every time we come from the doctor, it's nice to just have um, all those records here. And we have our health insurance here, healthcare expenses, and then my glasses and contacts information as well. And then we have career, so. This is um, our resumes, our employment info, pay stubs, um, student loans. Uh, it includes my business information, companies I've worked with, um, W-9s and such. And then we have um, our son's school records, kind of like their report cards and stuff. And then I have finance and taxes. So this is just a... Uh, more like our pay stubs and such too yeah so we have credit cards investments um, mortgage uh, real estate records current taxes for the current year um, expenses donations and self-employment finance tax information and loans so just every time that I get a new file I would put it in my paper inbox and then when I have time I would just go through that inbox and just file everything that I need to file. All right, so that's um, how I plan my filing system. The last um, thing I wanted to share with you guys about my paper planning system is just um, our records and documents, uh, warranties and manuals, and then memories. So these are things that I want to save um, and I also need it to be easily accessible. Um, I use binders for this as well because again I didn't like the regular um, filing system because things would get bent and such so 
Um, for records and documents, we ha I have sections for each person in our family. Um, mine and my husband are together, and then we have our marriage certificate. Um, in here, I store, I can't open it because it's a lot of personal information, but in here I store like birth certificates, our immunization records, um, our marriage certificate, and I think that's mainly it. Um, our social security cards and all that. So whenever I need it, I could just, you know, open this binder and it's right there. In the warranties and manuals and receipts, so these are for big item purchases. Um, and then I've been using these envelopes that I got from Amazon. Uh, I really like these. They were really affordable and they fit in the binder and it has a Velcro so things stay inside. So things like, you know, my ring, um, we have like for the Xbox, um, what do we have? So I put tabs on some of them. So we have our phones, the Xbox, my label maker, my camera, and yes. Yeah. And then um, I also put in our instructions for our bed and stuff. Um, yeah, so that's just warranties, manuals, and receipts for big item purchases. And then this last binder is just memories. Um, so I, my sections are love, so that's love letters throughout the years from between me and my husband. And we have our travel, so just like, you know, tickets, um, and you know, tickets to where we went and everything. And then we have a uh, little artwork that I wanted to keep from the babies. And then just some random knickknacks from our life. Yeah, so this obviously, I don't know if this is such a good, great system, but I think it's good for like our love letters and stuff, but then it's getting really bulky. So I don't know if I'm going to keep this in here or not, but for now it fits. So. Maybe I need to get rid of some stuff, but yeah, I just wanted a place where we can, you know, keep our memories in one place. And that's this binder. Okay, so that was the, um, the, my other binder system. And I think that's about it for all of the paper planning system.